morning students today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables before moving to this chapter let us recall some terms or facts about this chapter first of all what is an equation then what is the meaning of linear equation or Next, what is the meaning of linear equation in two variables and what is the nature of the solution? So, we will start with the, what is an equation. An algebraic expression involving equal to sign is called an equation. That means, if we write 2x plus 3y, is it an equation? No, because 2x plus 3y is only an expression. Instead of, if we write 2x plus 3y is equal to 7, is it an equation? Yes, because this is an algebraic expression involving equal to sign. The next one is about linear equation. What is linear equation? An equation of degree 1 is called linear equation. Ax plus by is equal to c where a not equal to 0, b not equal to 0 and a, b, c are real numbers. This is the general form of linear equation in two variables. For example, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. This is a linear equation in two variables because here the power of the variable that is x to the power 1, y to the power 1, here the degree is 1, so it is called linear equation in two variables. Now, what is the nature of the solution? Nature of solution of linear equation in two variables. For that, Consider one example, x plus y is equal to 5. For finding the solution of this equation, if we put x is equal to 1, y will be 4. That means we can say 1 comma 4 is a solution. That means if we put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4, 1 plus 4 that is 5. Putting x equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, that is 2 comma 3, that is another solution. Putting x equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. So, 3 comma 2 is another solution, etc. The same way we can find out infinite number of solutions. So, the nature of the solution of linear equation in two variables is that it has infinite number of solutions. Now, we are going to start our new chapter that is pair of linear equations in two variables. So, first of all, we will discuss about the general form. What is the general form of pair of linear equation? That is a1x plus b1y equal to c1, a2x plus b2y equal to c2. Where a1 not equal to 0, b1 not equal to 0, a2 not equal to 0, b2 not equal to 0 and a1, b1, c1, a2, b2 and c2 all are real numbers. Next one is about the nature of solution. Nature of solution are of three types. One is unique solution. Unique solution means it has only one solution. Second one is infinite number of solutions. Third, no solution. To understand the nature of solution, we will do some examples. Example 1. Solve for x and y. So, given a pair of linear equations. That is, first one, x plus y is equal to 5. We will take it as equation number 1. 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. That is equation number 2. That means, we want to find the values of x and y which satisfy both the equation is called its solution. For that, from the first equation, we can write 
x is equal to when we transpose y to that side we will get x is equal to 5 minus y that will take it as equation number 3 substituting 3 in 2 2 into we will replace x by 5 minus y plus 3y is equal to 12 that is 10 minus 2y plus 3y is equal to 12 10 plus y is equal to 12 or y is equal to 2 after getting the value of y is equal to 2 substituting in 3 x is equal to 5 minus 2 that is 3 that means x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 is the solution why it is a solution because when we put x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 it satisfies both the equation that is 3 plus 2 that is 5 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 this is an example for unique solution example 2 solve for x and y here also we will take another pair of linear equations from the first equation x is equal to 5 minus y we will mark it as equation number 3 substituting 3 in 2 that is 2 into 5 minus y plus 2y is equal to 10 10 minus 2y plus 2y is equal to 10 y and y will cancel out we will get 10 is equal to 10 is it a true statement yes so we can say which implies this statement is true that is it has infinite number of solutions so what is the meaning of this question without finding x and y we are saying that it has infinite number of solution the interesting thing is that just consider the two equations x plus y is equal to 1 is equal to 5 2x plus 2y is equal to 10. The second we take. Can we take 2 as common? Yes. 2 into x plus y is equal to 10. 2 and 10 can be cancelled as then 5. Now the first equation is x plus y is equal to 5. Second equation also x plus y is equal to 5. That means both the equations are same. So it belongs to linear equationing two variables and what is the nature of the solution it has infinite number of solution so this is an example for infinite number of solution example 3 solve for x and y here also we are getting another pair of linear equations the same way x is equal to 5 minus y substituting in the second equation after solving we get 10 is equal to 15 this is a false statement if we get a false statement the conclusion is that it has no solution so this is an example for no solution without solving the pair of linear equations we can predict the nature of the solution this is a very interesting topic for that this is the first example that we discussed here if we compare it with the standard form that is a1x plus b1y equal to c1 a2x plus b2y equal to c2 we get a1 what is a1 a1 is the coefficient of x in the first equation what is the coefficient of x that is 1 b1 that is 1 what is c1 5 a2 coefficient of x in the second equation that is 2 b2 3 and c2 12 what is a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is 1 by 2 what is b1 by b2 1 by 3 here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then we can say it has unique solution so what is the condition for unique solution a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 this is the second example that we discussed. If we compare it with the standard form, we get a11, b11, c15, a22, b22, c2, 10. What is a1 by a2? That is 1 by 2. What is b1 by b2? That is also 1 by 2. What is c1 by c2? That is 5 upon 10. That also 
1 by 2 that means a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 this is the condition for infinite number of solution that means for infinite number of solutions the condition is that a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 example 3 already we discussed here also we will find out the values of a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 and c2 here a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is equal to 1 by 2 c1 by c2 that is 5 upon 15 that is 1 by 3 so a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 this is the condition for no solution again a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 this is the condition for no solution i'm going to discuss about the two important words that is one is consistent what do you mean by consistent a pair of linear equations is said to be consistent if it has at least one solution what is the importance of this at least one at least one solution means this involves unique solutions and infinite number of solution so unique solution infinite number of solution both belongs to the category consistent the another one is inconsistent what is the meaning of inconsistent a pair of linear equations is said to be inconsistent if it has no solution so what are the things that we learned today we can just summarize there are two types of system of equations one is consistent another one is inconsistent consistent unique solution and infinite number of solution the condition for unique solution is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 and the condition for infinite number of solutions is that a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 and another one is inconsistent which means it has no solution and the condition is that a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 now try to do these assignments check whether the following pair of equations are consistent or inconsistent also write the nature of the solution first question 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 4x plus 9y is equal to 12 second question 3x minus 2y is equal to 10 6x minus 4y is equal to 20 third 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 4x plus 6y is equal to 10 4 x plus y is equal to 6 3x minus 2y is equal to 8 fifth 4x minus 6y is equal to 14 2x minus 3y is equal to 7 thank you